Greetings, y'all. It's Matt from the Grand Arcade, back playing some more Farming Simulator 17. Hey, we're back here at Law Folds, and this is the last episode of Law Folds. We've got our last field here ready to be harvested, so let's get it rolling. Alright. Harvested all soybeans, and you'll notice in the distance there, back towards the uh, farm, the main homestead, uh, that pipe is triggering on all those trucks I got parked there. You'll see all those new silos down there. Well, I had to get all those new silos because we got a lot of soybeans. All, I planted all the fields in soybeans, and we, so far we've got uh, close to 900,000 liters of soybeans. So let's get the other harvester going here as well. All right, got them rolling. Tab over, uh, let's see, I got my trucks here. I'm going to pull them on... Uh, up in here once I get that ready to go. So let me shut that off for now. Get our tractor rolling here. Get this one down on this side and put the other one on the other side. I returned the uh, the least New Holland's harvesters. I uh, had to lease a few of them to help with this huge harvest here. But anyway, we're down to the last field. This is the field just uh, to the north of the homestead, so put this one on this side for now. Then I'll bring this one down here. So yeah, this is the last episode of Law Folds. I gotta say it's a great map, but I don't think I'm gonna miss it too much because of the roads. They're just uh, very small and you can't get your equipment, uh, I mean just barely through it, and these are big fields. You need big equipment for these huge fields that are here. So, anywho, this is going to be it. This is going to be the last one, and uh, we'll move on to other maps and uh, tackle those. So, let's see, I got this truck here. I parked this one here. I don't, I don't think I'm going to need it. But yeah, I put silos. You can see I put two silos there. There's not very many places to put them right next to the main silos because they have buildings next to them. So I put a couple there put six over here in this corner kind of close to the house but I mean I really didn't have any choice I didn't have anywhere else to put them uh, couldn't put them in front of this shed here put three here so uh, hopefully that will be enough to uh, handle what we got left let's tab back down to them here go ahead and get the tractors This is a low yield, so I'm not really worried about uh, them getting full. The great demand flashing up there is for potatoes, I do believe, so... Won't be meeting that great demand. But like I've said on any other maps that we've uh, concluded and finished, uh, we can always come back to them. Uh, I'm not getting rid of the game saves. I'll keep those backed up and... Uh, could always come back to him in the future if I decided to, so. I know we're going to be really busy this fall. Got the new map from Giants coming out. Along with the uh, new crop and the new sugarcane harvester, so. We're going to be pretty busy with that. We're still working on Goldcrest Valley. And, uh, got some new maps out there that, uh, and new maps that'll be coming out, I'm, I'm sure, over the next, you know, couple months that will be worth taking a look at. So, uh, we'll work on those. So I'm recording this. This is the day before the, uh, the big eclipse. Uh, that's happening tomorrow. Uh, I'm not, I'm kind of in the zone where there's about, I think, 90%, uh, what do they call it? Blocking of the sun? There's another word for it. Cannot think of what the word is. But anyway, um, it's going to be quite an event. Uh, I think I read where there hasn't been one like this since like 1918. And there uh, hasn't been one over my area since uh, I think like the 1400s maybe. But uh, I don't know how they know that because I don't think there was anybody in my area in the 1400s, but uh, I don't know, maybe some Indians or something 
kept a record of that stuff, so. Ooh, I better get out of the way, he's gonna hit me. Get this guy ready. But yeah, these roads with these fences just uh just too small. Even for this small equipment, it's just too too narrow. But yeah, don't look directly at the sun, kids. The eclipse will burn your uh, retinas. Uh, don't stare at it. You know, take a glimpse up and look down. Take a glimpse up and look down. I'm what I'm gonna do. I've got I've, okay. I've got the uh, the you know the uh, approved Eclipse glasses, the little paper 3D looking glasses. I have those. I'm wondering if I can put my shades on on top of those just to have you know just a little extra layer of protection when looking at it. So don't burn my retinas out. Don't want to do that. And another thing I don't like about these map, these trees. You can't get rid of these trees. It's one thing I get rid of. Cause look, you can't see anything. They block the they block the view. I mean, if I had something specifically I had to do right here, you couldn't see it. No way. I like the option of removing the trees. That way, you can remove the trees. You can get them out of the way where you can see everything. I think that's that's probably going to be something I'm going to look at at future maps is, you know, stuff that stuff that I'm learning that I'm not really a fan of like the the trees that you can't cut or the narrow roads or you know, obstacles, stuff like that. So, uh I think that's going to be something I'm going to have to consider in the future. I better get my cruise control down here. Ooh, nearly come here. Lower six. Engage. All right. So yeah, I mean, if I do decide to come back to this map, which is not likely, but I mean, hey, it could happen. I could uh, return to some of the other maps too, and if I return to this one, we'll have a good uh, soybean harvest to uh, to sell off, and then maybe we can uh, buy a few extra fields or something here. But I don't see me coming back to the map. Just to be honest. Um, I was trying to think if there's any of those other maps that I might consider go back to. I hate to I hate to say that I won't, but I hate to say that I will. It's kind of one of those things, you know. Uh, if they don't come out with any maps that, uh, that are really, uh, I guess, attractive to me, that, uh, that look fun to play, then uh, I can return to these. And I'll be I'll be finishing up other maps too along the way, and if I get down to no maps, uh, I can always return to these and uh, pick up a few more episodes on them. So, all right, let me get down here. I don't think it's gonna be full. Let me tab to them and see. Oh no, they can go forever here. Nice shot right there. Take a little picture. There we go. Harvesting at Lawfolds. These uh, Massey Ferguson combines aren't that bad. I've got the uh, med medium size head, I guess, maybe. Oh, let's see what we got here. Uh, where's it at? Maybe it's further down. Ah, there it is. Uh, yeah, no, actually, this is the smaller uh, Massey Ferguson head. This is the 7.6 meter. 
I think there's another one up here somewhere, yeah. There's the 35 foot hitter, the 10.7 meter, and then there's a bigger one right there. 12.12 .12 meters, 40 foot. And that's it. Oh, and then we have the old Massey Ferguson combine. That's the old hitter for the old one. Uh, six meters. What does that compare to? Well, it's actually a pretty decent size hitter. I mean, for a small combine, the seven meter ones are the small ones for the Rostel Mash and the other and then you have the smaller ones the even the new holland is smaller than that one so not bad i'll head on down here and empty him These tractors aren't bad either. So yeah, it's going to be very interesting watching this eclipse uh, tomorrow. August 21st. You know, you hear all the sayings too that uh, weird things happen during an eclipse, you know. Animals start acting strange. Uh, there could be an earthquake. Uh, could see a lizard man walking around somewhere. I read that online. Uh, all kinds of weird stuff. Like the end of the world and all that. Nah, I don't think so. The world didn't end in 1918. I don't think it's going to end tomorrow. If it did, it would just be a coincidence, I think. But, you know, I don't think the, the eclipse has anything to do with that. It's just the moon passing in front of the sun, guys. That's all it is. And it's going to cast its shadow down on... Um, on the earth and if you're in an area where you get a total eclipse where it completely blocks out the sun that's I, I wish I was in an area where I, where I you know where you could see that because um, they say you're gonna be able to see stars and everything it's gonna be like nighttime uh, that's, I guess that's why they call it twilight uh, because it's uh, gonna be like nighttime they say the animals get confused for sure there they say crickets start chirping and uh, Birds start singing their nighttime songs and all that stuff, so it's going to be uh, interesting to see. Like I said, the last one that passed over, I think the United States, or maybe just this area, was 1918. Uh, no, I think it was the United States, 1918. The next one will be in 20, uh, 2024 or 2048. So I may be long gone by that time. I wish I could drive to an, uh, to an area where there's going to be a total eclipse. That would be pretty neat to see. Just hope the, uh, the bosses let us out uh, and the teachers and you know everybody gets a, gets a chance to get out and see it. Those that are going to be in the path of it. So. I'm sure, you know, people are going to take a pretty fantastic video of it, and then you can go back and watch it, but there's just something about watching stuff like that live that uh, you have to experience live. It's like the difference between listening to a uh, studio album and uh, going to a live concert or, uh, you know, something like that. It's like the difference between uh, ordering uh, delivery and instead of going out to the restaurant to actually eat for those that do of course I don't know you know you get your some of your places that are like fast food places that's that's probably more preferable to do the delivery but uh, you know you get your really nicer places that deliver um, I don't know it's just a more enjoyable experience to go out and uh, to go out and eat so here I am talking about food again I stay hungry all the time 
I do have to say on a more personal note, I'm not a fat kid. I mean, I, I consider myself a fat kid. I think I'm still a little overweight, but uh, I uh, once upon a time, I was really, uh, shall I say, fun size, uh, 285 pound-wise. But uh, I think I lost about, uh, what, 75 pounds or something like that, and uh, I've managed to keep it off. I still consider myself, you know, kind of a little overweight, but uh, um, I could, you know, afford to, you know, lose a few more pounds, tone up a little bit, but, uh, you know, I still like my uh, my good foods. Fast foods. Not even fast foods, just good food, you know. Good, whole, hearty, you know, home-cooked food and stuff like that. Alright. Tell you though, the struggle's really going to become real uh, real soon. There's a new restaurant coming, they're building nearby, so. It's going to definitely become a little bit more of a struggle. Alright, let's see here. Let's get this one emptied. I don't think we're going to finish this field right away. I just tapped out of my vehicle. don't think we're going to finish this field this episode. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, this is the last episode anyway. And uh, we can kind of guesstimate how much... Uh, how much we're going to have off this field. Actually, I think I'm going to stop this right here because he's already empty now. And go back over to this other one. Where are my combines at? There they are. That's the one I just emptied. This one is only at 500 liters, so I'm just going to let it roll down the highway. Let it roll, roll, roll. Old song for you young kids. Yep, I'm ending this map. I'm thinking about, you know... So far, the only maps that I've gotten into animals have been Goldcrest and the Old Stream. I'm really considering getting into animals on some of the other maps that I'm working on. Uh, not all of them, but uh, just some of them. Really looking forward to the new map. It's going to be based in uh, South America somewhere. I don't know if it's uh, Argentina or Mexico or Brazil or Ecuador. Where where do they do sugarcane at? I don't, I don't know. I need to look that up. But uh, they haven't released any fact sheets as of today uh, for the new map. So I'm sure maybe once they uh, release the fact sheets for the new map and you know release a little more details, they'll say where it's based at where the map, new map is based at, but it's definitely South America. Definitely, definitely South America somewhere. Uh, you can tell just by the way the, the, the dirt, the color of the dirt, uh, the type of uh, trees, the uh, architecture of the buildings, uh, definitely South American. I'm looking forward to the new crop. Sugar cane. That's what it is. What it, what it is. Sugar cane. Alright, they're running about neck and neck. They both have about 2,000 liters. Just a little over 2,000 liters in them. So I'm just going to let them roll here and I don't think they'll fill up at all here. So looking at the storage, I've got 879,000 in there. And I've got, I'll tell you what, I'll just go ahead and empty these guys while those guys are rolling. Somewhere, maybe. 
Got a little crack I can fit through here. Come back and get the last little bit of this grain there. Damn over that truck. If I can find it. It's here somewhere. There it is. I don't think I'm going to need both trucks. I think one truck's going to be enough. So I may take that red one back down to the to the homestead. Where's it at? There it is. Can I back this all the way down the road? We'll find out. It's going to take a minute. On a real challenge, try to do it in here. Try to do it in cab. Oi. 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 Stay straight. Stay straight. Can't watch anything from the other mirror. Oi. Nope. I'm in trouble. Come on. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Turn a little bit. Turn a little bit. There you go. Where's the road? As long as I can keep an eye on the road, I think I'll be okay. Oh, there's a fence. Come on. I think I'm there. I think I am in the homestead. There's the other truck. Try to get this over here by this other truck. Where'd my trailer go? There it is. Well, I think I got down the road. That was good enough. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna own it, so. It's the best backwards driving I've done on this map. Alright. So, let me grab, uh, these guys are still working. Where's the other? I'm gonna pull this on down here where I can get that other one offloaded. Turn my engine off too. May have a little bonus time on this episode. I'm sure this is not going to fill it up, but. And I think I'm going to go ahead and take this auger wagon. I think I can manage the, both those combines with one auger wagon. So I'll take this back down to the farm too. Oh, see, that's why I don't like these small roads, these gates. Oh, it's a headache. Didn't leave myself enough room to get through here. Already sold all my uh, planting and cultivating equipment. So, let me back this up in here. Or no, you know what? I got a better place to park this. Down here. I think it'll fit in there. Fit in there. One thing about this auger wagon is hard to back up because the wheels in the back turn. And like it just kind of it just kind of goes wild. All right, got that one. So I'm just gonna turn this around, park it right beside that one. And uh, go offload these guys. Well, I'll tell you what, where are they at? they're not really full full, so I'm going to take one of them and uh, get those little bits that I missed there. Which one's less full? This one.
Just a little bit over there. I'll go get that first. Okay. Got some liquid furt and some solid furt over there that I never used. Alright, get this last little bit up here and then I'll get this thing rolling with that one. Some over there that I missed, but I'm not really worried about it. I'll get this get this field cleaned up here, and there are just little places that I missed. It's actually a pretty wide swath right there, but a few little places, a little place down there at the end of that one. You know, when you're just starting out, these few little places, you know, they mean everything. But when you get into mass production like the size of that field, these few little places just don't seem to uh, be as much of a big deal, you know. Let him go on ahead, and I'll square this off up here. Alright, so it looks like he's going to have that last pass. I'm going to go ahead and empty this. You know what, I'm just going to empty it directly into the truck there. Turn around here and empty directly into it. This water bottle, water bottle I've got here popping is scaring, you know, scaring the life out of me here. I guess it's warming up and expanding. Yeah, I think I'm going to park my harvesters down in that, uh, well, no, I've got that front, front shed I can park them in. Go ahead and fold up and bring my pipe in. This guy's pretty much done. This is going to be an extended episode here, just a little bit, but hey, it's the last episode, uh, we'll give it a few more minutes. And that one says he's about full, so I need to get the uh, auger wagon down here. Let me do that before I park this thing. Hopefully it won't stop. It's got 12,300 liter capacity. I don't think he's that full. He might be around 10,000, but I don't think he's about to stop by no means. Oh, man, that thing is just popping. I'm telling you. I wonder, you know, I know I know what causes it. It's the the heat of the the water bottle. It's warming up and it's causing the plastic to expand. There it goes again. This is a new kind of water I'm drinking and I think the other bottles were a little bit stronger. It's still popping. Listen to that. Sounds like a cap gun going off in the background.
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to offload this just a little bit more and then uh, probably pull the truck down here somewhere and let him finish that last little bit of a pass there. All right. Go ahead and go offload into this. Huh, it almost looks like there's a break there where it didn't render. Looks like there's a break in the grain there. I wonder if he'll stop midway in the field now. We'll find out in just a minute. back in here okay and we'll park this one in here as well all right, tap back over to this combine. Tell you what, let me get the truck down here. And then we'll get our grand total. Yeah, that silo expansion cost around a million dollars there, so. This looks good right here. Let me grab this other combine. Hey, he didn't stop. Good. I was worried. Whoop. A little bit of a sharp turn there. Got harvester number one parked. Now harvester number two. Okay. Mm I think I'm going to turn wide and back up here. So don't clip the corner again. Alright, so we got the harvest done. Whoa, no, that didn't work. That's not what I wanted to do at all. So we got a final dirt moment in there for lava folds. Run over the harvest header. Alright. We are finished here at lava folds. Let's get our grain over to the silo where is that truck there it is we'll go around the back here get this dumped inside the silo Okay, dump this out. See what we get. Let's watch our number rise here. We're gonna break nine hundred thousand. Hopefully, if the, we've got enough uh, silos, yeah, we do. 
So we'll have just over 900,000 liters of soybeans. Got a few sunflower and canola left in there, but uh, we know we can hold a uh, much larger capacity now on that. And that's it. All right, guys, mission completed. We uh, made a few adjustments here, a few changes here on law folds, and uh, got some uh, better equipment. And uh, I will say, I, I like the map. It's a great map, except for the roads and the uh, the roads and something else. What was the other thing? Oh, the trees. Yeah, you can't cut these trees. If we could cut the trees. I might be um, a little bit happier with it, but uh, you can't cut these. These are phase throughable, and there's no way to get rid of them. It's kind of like the bushes on all the other maps. You can't get rid of the bushes either. Uh, I mean, come on. If I give me a bush hog, and I'll go along these uh, barbed wire fences, and I'll bush hog around these fences. That could be something you know that uh, they could introduce uh, in the next uh, the next release of the game. You know. Something that's that's something that uh, that can be done. You know, you need to maintain these fences. If you if if a cow breaks one of these fence posts or you know breaks a barbed wire or something, and the, the fence gets down, you can go out and repair the fence, but you can't repair the fence if you got bushes up against it. So you'd need a bush hog to clean that up, and uh, then you could repair the fence. So, but anyway, that's just a little thing. It's you know probably not a big deal to a lot of people, but it is to me. And I don't know. I kind of just like the. Uh, the more of the realism of it so but anyway we're uh, done here at Lawfold, so we'll move on to uh, other maps and uh, tackle those down as well i guess so until next time guys remember you reap what you sow it's matt from the grain arcade we'll see you guys later